Hey guys, what's up? It's Clary Bay. Just want to check in with you guys. I know it's a busy season. A lot of people are just go, go, go. Balls to the wall right now. More kudos to you. I kind of feel like I'm glad I got my stuff out of the way early. We had our family feast today. Mine was all vegan, of course. It was amazing. You probably will see about it on Instagram, so be sure to follow me over there if you are interested in that sort of thing. But yeah, um, it was a good day. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving if you're celebrating or, you know, happy holidays or whatever <laughs> to everyone. Happy feelings, happy blessings, peace, love, and understanding. <laughs> All the cliches <laughs> coming at you from Clary Berry. Okay, it's very much a time to fall back on the inner wisdom, on the higher truths that we've accumulated, that we've learned in our lives. Stick to what we know right now. Try not to veer too far. Okay, got clairvoyance. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Okay, you're being, you're, this is, you're seeing things in a new way. all coming into focus and wow isn't it beautiful the expression on his face like you, this is one of those things you you can't even stare upon the face of god because it's too great right but when you get a little taste of it wow mind-blowing amazing this card does not come around every other day this is about the alignment, you know, alignment of the chakras, alignment of your mental, your emotional, your physical, and what you do over time, having all of your energies in alignment. Clearly seeing, clearly understanding what life is really about, having we love. This is it. <laughs> this is it. You couldn't ask for a better card right now. Okay, again, hope you're doing well. Hopefully the new moon and everything before it is treating you well. And if not, then well enough, okay? I realize people been going through some things. So have I, it's all good. Live and learn, live and let live. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay, got a lot of fiery energies, got a lot of strong, intense energies right now. Planets moving, you know, certain things happening we won't see for a long time. Okay, take some random different cards here. Just jump right in, shall we? Okay, so we got the Eight of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Hierophant. <laughs> no joke. Okay, so this is actually very reminiscent of readings that we've been having. If you've been following me on the channel, it's a lot of action, a lot of movement, a lot of following that passion, figuring out what that passion is, following through with plans that you've already set up, following through action, okay? really again it's like honing in on what it is that you really really wanted and fine-tuning it as well okay so a lot of growth um and it's almost like you have a lot riding on whatever it is that you've been focusing on lately and um this is very interesting this four of swords here this is a very interesting little four of swords. Look at that. Just looking over here at the wands. So it's like you're seeing, you're really, it's a really, it's really a time to go find out, you know, what is, what is there? What is it? What is the draw? <laughs> you know, what is the drive and pulling on that and allowing that to allow you to follow through what you know it's like what it's almost like this what did i see in them energy but it's just this reminder of what you do love about your person i don't know take it as it resonates 
It might not be for everyone. It's kind of almost a looking back to the past, looking back to why do I believe this? Why do I think that? You know, sometimes it's almost like, why do I even hang out with these people? You know, sort of like that kind of energy. But again, it all comes down to changing these beliefs as far as what you believe to be true about life, what you believe to be true about life is going to come true for you. It's going to come true for you. What you believe you achieve, conceive, believe, achieve. That's why when people get enlightened and then they go vegan, you know, when you get enlightened, you do certain things. You shed certain ideas that you've been brainwashed with, that you've been told you have to do this, you have to, you know, do that. And, and really, it's just a slow process of shedding, shedding all of that. We're all in this together. We're all awakening, you know, together. Helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love. Okay. So with that, let's just jump right in, shall we? I'm going to do the divine masculine here. Get some energy here. Here's my stone arms. <laughs> So yeah, we just had our full moon. Let's see, that was yesterday. Today, oh, as I'm filming this, it is Wednesday. Like I said, had early Thanksgiving. So tomorrow, so we're looking at the time for this reading really will be, you know, I mean, Wednesday night through Thursday. Big deal, Thursday. Thursday, we got Thanksgiving. Okay, so we have eight of pentacles flipping over which is funny, you know, to get pentacles because at 7.33 a.m. Thursday, tomorrow, uh, the moon will be in Capricorn, okay? Oh my gosh, throwing cards everywhere. That, those literally like fell. And lots of pentacles energy, okay? Divine masculine, let's see what we got. Okay, remember, this can be about your person. This can be about you. It is what it is. Take it as it resonates. Twin flame soulmate alone. I don't care. You can use this. Because everybody has a twin flame. So therefore everybody is a twin flame. So therefore it applies to everybody. That's how I see it. Just so you know <laughs> my philosophy on that. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> very, very focused. The divine masculine. Nothing is like getting them off of focusing on what they're in the direction. They know they're going a certain direction. Okay. There may be a, a kind of a deep divide here, okay? It's like, it's almost like they're running again. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I know a lot of these videos are all like, oh, well, the divine masculine knows, knows, knows. They might be in the place where they need that reminder. They don't, they don't know for sure anymore. You know, they're, they're in that dark place where they're, really are focused on the past. They're going backwards. There's a retrograde situation here, just the way that everything's focused. Okay, but it could be focused within. So, you know, again, it might seem like the attention is away from the twin flame energy, but it's really focused within, which is where it needs to be. I'm feeling like there's a lot going on in the, in the actual daily life of the divine masculine, like a lot, whether it's the money, the finances, the job, the family, the social, the health, whatever, like it happens on a day-to-day -day basis with them is really kind of jumbled right now. It's a uh, fast moving, just not exactly sure, you know, what to make of it. It's all, it's relatively stable in a way, but there's just, there's still a lot going on and there's a lot of movement and a lot of growth and a lot of change and it's sometimes kind of bitter but it can be wonderful you know it can be wonderful change and it will be wonderful change it's just like that it's not quite there yet you know what i mean like there it's it's being worked on and it just takes so much energy so much inner and outer energy that is going into figuring all of this out okay and then it's just like there wasn't there hasn't been very much time you know to kind of give back maybe, but I think there might be in the future, like give back to the twin flame energy. 
you know, kind of that lonely partner, you know, waiting. Okay. But it's, you know, there's no, I don't think there's like hard feelings or anything like that. And I think on, on some level, you know, the divine masculine knows that. And that's kind of, it's like, you just have to do what you have to do. You know, when you're in the situation, this is what came up on the floor. <sighs> Clear. This is what came up on the floor. You know, this is the hanged man. You are, the divine masculine is just failing stuff. There's just, they don't, their hands are tied. Like there's just, they don't feel like there's that much they can else they can do. And, you know, it may be a stubborn stance. It may be really negative energy as far as looking back to the past and being stuck in the past and not willing to look ahead and not willing to grow, not willing to, you know, kind of do what the heart desires, I'm feeling like. It's kind of like closing, there's a, there's a closing themselves off. But again, it's kind of this hermit energy, kind of this hierophant, like going deeper, going higher. Sorry, I know that I can't see very much, but... That was just the hierophant there, you know, and it's like really being humble, you know, and it's just the time, it's just the time for it, you know, it's a time for this wholesome, clearing, cleansing, healing, you know, things are moving and we have to pay attention to them. It's like when your baby first starts taking steps and you weren't ready for them to take steps, again, metaphors, you're like, oh shit, now I have to get the house ready. Now I have to. Go buy all of this new stuff to baby lock the doors. And then you find out the first day you put the door thing on there, they can get through and they just about go escape into the street. And you're like, oh my gosh. So I got to watch this kid like every single second of every single day. You know what I mean? Like your life is totally, like this is the metaphor, you know, like your life is totally changed and you just need to figure out how to adapt to the situation. And then you can kind of go back into a mode where you can kind of relax, <laughs> which a lot of parents are like, wait, is there really ever a time when we can relax? Well, yeah, you got to find time, <laughs> you know, you got to make time, you got to figure that out. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of a lot of parent energy coming through here, honestly. A lot of, you know, you just got to take care, you got to take care of the family, you got to take care of the house, got to take care of the kids. I mean, and there is a new beginning with this, okay? There are new levels. There are new stages. But again, as much as, you know, I want to say, oh, this is the biggest new beginning ever. This is, this little piddly new beginning is only a small, little, tiny new beginning in a series of new beginnings that we're going to have. <laughs> you know, we just entered into basically a new lunar, a new eclipse season. You know, we just got out of the one that we've been in for the past six months or so. You know, like, it's like, Yes new beginnings, new start, start over, you create, you're the star, you know what you want, you know how you're going to get it, you follow your passion, you do the inner cleansing, the inner healing, okay, and then your passions will be even more amplified and clear and solid and you will have, you will have, it will take less effort for you to follow those dreams and to make them come true and this supports this whole new beginning okay and then we have the two of cups so your relationship is here it is coming it is this underlying again you guys are both covered in this one we're covered here god i am so sorry they're coming to they're coming together on a certain level and it's a higher level but see how down below it's like they're covered and there's a divide so it's like you're here I'm here we're both doing our inner work like one person is going deeper one person is going higher <laughs> one person is going spiritual one person is clearing out shit from the past which is basically the same thing um but yeah there's a lot of growth here there's a lot of kind of it's like it may not be being said or spoken or celebrated right now but there's a lot of like enamored feelings enamored just like, yeah, you know, damn it, I do love that person. That's kind of like the, the energy that I'm getting here. And it's like, again, they're like staring deep into each, each other's eyes, you know? And they're just like doing that whole deeper level, like higher level Tantra stuff. This isn't your average, you know, two of cups. And it's intertwining of lives. This uh, herb is a very cleansing, you know, very clearing. Very, It's a very nice, I, I love to actually smell it when it's burning. It's just so, so wonderful. Okay, so two more for the Divine Masculine and then we're gonna move on. So we get the Ace of Wands. So yeah, there are, it's just, again, these new beginnings kind of boiling up, kind of bubbling up. 
and anything you can do to uh, support yourself, to support the, you know, to support the divine masculine during this time, you know, and I think the best thing is to make sure that you're, that you are taking the time off to see things in your own way, okay, to see, to allow, to stay grounded and to allow the messages, this is just a form of meditation here, really allow the messages to come to you. You know, sometimes you have to, this is like akin to people taking psychedelics or doing something where they're changing, they're altering their perception. You know, um, you know, every, a lot of people will self-medicate and things like that, but suspended person, you know, and it's again, it's like taking what you normally do, all these pentacles energy, just go, 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 go. And it's like taking the load off, you know, again, seeing things in a different way. It's kind of getting to this holiday spirit, if you will, things like this. Okay. But again, it's really helping the, the cheer that's coming through with that is really helping everything. It's helping to support things, but you also want to make sure and act on the depth that you've come to already. Okay. So we already had our ace of pentacles and now we have our ace of one so it's very much external of course the divine masculine is very much external here and they are again they're working through seeing things in a new way they're working through seeing the union you know as it may be as it truly is on this deeper level okay so be careful if you're the divine feminine you know to see these things and be looking for superficial signs that the relationship is on track when in reality, you know, it may be deeper than you even think and, and, and even to your partner or in your partner's eyes, it may be deeper and beyond things like this that you might be focused on. Um, sort of a theme that comes through, okay? But just make sure and um, stay really positive, but also again, just stay open stay open to this oh, full awakening, you know, that, that we're coming through. Again, I'm helping you, your spiritual sight to fully awaken so that you can see, clearly see heavenly love, okay? And I'm seeing that's like, it's the star card here with figuring out what we really want, what our true passion is, happens after we cleanse. The cleansing comes first. The clearing out comes first. And it's really important to pay attention, to do the meditation, to be real with ourself and be honest with ourself. And that's what, you know, when you go through the shadow work I talk about in my program, clarivary.com, that, you know, it's it helps you see things more clearly. It helps you flip the switch. When you do the shadow work, it's so easy and it catches you. You know, if you have any of these prideful things going on, it catches you. You're like, oh, it kind of helps you call yourself out in the kindest, most nice way, you know, possible. And it's just a methodical thing that you can use every single time. So check out the program again. It's on claryberry.com. But I want to go ahead and move on. Um, I want to go ahead and take some Divine Feminine Energy as well. Okay. And we are going to use my other, one of my other newest decks here. This is, gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. Chrysalis, I think, wasn't it? Have the have the thing somewhere. So if you really want to know, let me know. But um, yeah, I got butterflies on the outside here. Just lovely. So again, I hope you all are doing so, so well. Thank you so much for all your support. Everyone here who comments, likes, share, subscribe, etc. You can find me all over social media. Clear your at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. And I'm going to take a little sip of my Izzy today. Okay. So Divine Feminine, what do we got? Beautiful. Okay. A lot of wisdom, a lot of personality. Love it. Fresh, new. Shadow work for sure. We got our dualities. Okay. We got our communication. Okay. There is a, there's an underlying, this is all about the underlying communication between you and your partner. Okay. You're both in your heads right now for sure. And that's okay. Cause it needs to happen. Um, and it's growth and it's going to help you to do the shadow work. Do, again, I was just talking about shadow work. This is again, do the shadow work. You have the black and white, you have the depth here, but this is also going deeper and higher. It's all purple. Okay. And again, it's this communication. Okay. We have scrolls. This is swords. This is, 
this is um, higher communication. Again, with the pig, with the peaks here and the unicorn's horn, this is absolutely like a third eye sense of you and your partner um, being able to communicate with each other. Might be some dreams, might be some telepathy, things like that going on between the two. And I feel like the sexual energy is also growing between the two, especially maybe again here on the divine feminine side. Okay. But there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot changing. It's a really, really epic time. I can't say that enough. Okay. This is like, you know, the, the big movies where everything, you know, the tree of life's going to save everybody and everything's going to be dependent on certain things. And those certain things are with you. Those certain things are with you. You know, your life is an exciting action movie that you have to show up. You have in order to save the day. We need you to show up. We need you. You are very necessary. You are part of like the angel squad here. Okay, you're part of the Clary Berry, um, like Aloha Switch Club. You are here. Join my Facebook group. Again, link down below. You get extra videos starting here in December. It's going to be awesome. So go ahead and get joined up now since it is brand new. Again, all the links are in the bio at clariberry.com. Okay. So yeah, this is just deep growth. Like so much growing, like so much. You can't even, even if you tried to like write your memoir right now, I feel like you'd just be typing and typing and typing and typing like all night and all day right now. Or you just like have to get the recorder and just be like, brrr, like bust it out because there's so much going on. There's so much you want to remember. There's so many lessons to learn. Like it's a, it's an exciting time. It's very electric. It's very like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? It's like, oh my God, it's so awesome. You know, it's like when these ec eclipses come and everybody's looking, you know, and everybody's like, oh, this is magic, you know? And it's like, this is life. You know what I mean? Okay, and then we have the storyteller, okay, or the hermit, which again, we have the crow right up top, which is shadow work, and also it's, you know, higher on the head. So this is a symboliz symbolizing the wisdom, you know, that we have and going within in order to be guided, okay, and to be able to get through, you know, what can be a challenging world, but it's not really, you know, like the shaman knows, you know, like the the wise woman, you know, the wise man, they know, you know, they, they follow the signs. Look, she's got her eyes up, you know, she's got her eyes ahead. She's got the wings. She's got the crows guiding her. So this is akin to the, the metaphor is here, you going within. Okay. That's what this is about. You taking that it's cradling. It's like, if you care about yourself at all, cradle your cradle, your heart, Take care of yourself. And this is what the law of attraction is. It's about people think, oh, it's so difficult. Oh, Claire's out to get me. She wants me to make me feel like shit while I'm doing the inner child healing work. No, this is all to support you, honey. This is to help you. This is to help you fly. You need this, okay? You need to follow this light, okay? We need to join in community and share our resources and share our methodologies and share our ideas about these types of deep things rather than getting caught up in all these superficial makeup this crazy talk that you know oh my gosh I'm just like people waste their time on the most redundant things and this is not a time for any of that this is a time to make everything that you do matter you matter so freaking deeply and what you are going through right now is the best thing for you to go through in this moment for you to grow for you to become better for you to help change the world for you to reverberate back to your person don't let pride get in your way i don't think that you're gonna have a huge problem with that but it's still there it's still here for all of us we still have that ego okay so we do have you know some nice sturdy grounding pentacles energy here and i love this again this is this wisdom you know this groundedness, this almost this, you know, hedge witchery, you know, your essential oils. This is, this is your life, but this is about knowing the real deal, what it's really about on a daily basis, going deeper. Again, what really matters, what's really supporting you. It's like you've been around long enough to know a little bit more about who you truly are. You know, when we're growing up and we're adolescents, we think we know who we are. And then it's like, we're 30 and we're like, wait, who am I really? And then you're 40 and you're like, oh shit, wait, wait, I gotta re I gotta start over. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm not quite 40 yet. 
but I am 37 and a half this Christmas or a couple days before, a few days before. But anyway, she's got her third eye little uh, dot there. If you can't see that. Little pink cheeks, very vibrant. Got the, you know, she's blessed. She's simple. She's focusing on the day to day, but on a deeper level. Because again, you know, she got that hedge witch stuff going on. So again, she's getting to the you know, the, uh, the natural healing methods, you know, the, the nutrition, getting with nature on a daily basis, getting enough fresh air, walking, like all of these things, you know, coming into setting it's, it's about, you know what it's about right now is the healing obviously is supportive of yourself, but also it's this sturdy, steady energy, doing what you love, doing things you like, you know, she's, she's kind of hoarding up this, these, uh, this wealth, but again, this wealth is not, it's not, anything crazy it's not even pentacles like these are going to be used for something you know whatever it is and she knows what she's about you know what i mean so she's really able to move forward because she's supporting it's like the the capricorn energy it supports us the earth energy it's su it's supportive it's the earth that's what we stand on okay so this is saying that you know again we're very supported in our healing right now and it's going to create a space that is kind of like a launch pad for our dreams here for this next step for growing into this feisty ass you know awesome bitch that and I don't want to say bitch if that triggers anybody but this is like you're ready to pounce you're ready to go you're ready to do something you're ready to make some shit happen and you know this is the genie ride taking that uh, magic carpet ride excuse me okay so this is about the belief this is about the dream world the underworld the subconscious okay the night of mirrors. So this is about communication with the underworld and the overworld. You know what I mean? So we've got ancestors, we've got, you know, um, spirit guides, animal guides, um, angels, or, you know, the oracles, the like whatever energy that you want to relate to that flow that you feel that is right for you, but it's about going within. Okay. We have the moon there, but also this fiery energy. Again, we're, we're ready to pounce. We're ready to move. We're ready to make moves because we've been supported, because we've been doing the healing, okay? Because we've been changing our belief systems, our expectations, our communication, okay? Moving forward, like in every way. But also kind of feeling like boss about it because you know who you are, you know what you deserve, and you know that you deserve a lot. So there might be, I'm seeing like a standstill. Look at this. This just comes up out of the blue with all this learning, all this healing. It's like death stare, resting bitch face. Hello. You know, it's fire, it's passion, it's anger. This is the perfect time for that. You know, we've still got all this Scorpio energy, we've got Sagittarius energy, which is, Sagittarius is very positive, but it also can be very fiery, very bossy. This is a time where, you know, we already had a lot of this deep energy, emotions coming through, people, Scorpio energy, that people are dealing with shit, and then you have this Sagittarius energy, which can just be kind of careless, you know, it can just be kind of cocky and boisterous and kind of, it's those accidental, you know, whereas the Scorpio is like, oh, I fuck shit up on my own, you know, this is like, oops did I do that you know it's like that kind of drama that might be coming through and again like the pride things when you're not being humble like I was warning about the other day about you know the, the, the need to be humble here okay so we don't want to let the ego the ego is very I don't want to say it's running wild you know right now but it's been it's just and people get knocked off you know if people are not centered you know it can be it's easy to inflame you know a person who's already hurting or already um just not in a stable place. You know what I mean? So let's go a little bit further with the divine feminine. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So here we go. The illusionist. Wow. This is so cool. A lot of major arcana cards. So you are right smack dab, um, in the middle of a big, huge change, <laughs> huge change. Okay. And that's kind of why it's like, don't fuck with me right now because I cannot even deal. I. It's not that you can't deal with all the changes that are going on, but it's just like you would rather just like remain focused on something, okay? 
And I'm getting that, yeah, there's definitely some building energy. You have the illusionist and the artiste. So they're both like this creative taking energy, you know, out of the ethers and making it into the re into the reality. Um, so it's taking these ideas that have already been with us, taking these long, you know, could be deep seated ideas, dreams, thoughts, beliefs, expectations, but also expanding on it on a very deep level, like a very almost surreal level here. And, you know, coming to peace with it and turning it around on every level and really, really understanding what it's about on a deeper level. It's like you're working this shit out. You're working out maybe. And I don't want to just boil it down to, oh, how you're going to spend the rest of your life or what you're going to do. But it's like higher truths are being shown to us right now. OK, and it's like they can be shown to us in an epiphany. But then the next day, you kind of go back to your everyday life. And it's not that you forget it, but you're just kind of like, mm, okay. And it kind of, it's like, okay, you were so inspired, but then you got to wait a little bit. And then you push a little further, you know, and you get another clarity and you get another sign and you get this stuff and it just keeps on coming. And it's day and night here. You know, it's the outer and the inner that keeps on playing with each other over time to work things out. I'm getting this really deep, again, just go with the flow, work things out. You may feel like a, like a little old bear, you know what I mean? But just, it's not to say keep it in, but just stay focused on the peace, stay focused on the growth, the purity, and again, going within and just trying to be as grateful and happy as you can in this situation. And not only that, but putting out what you want, what you truly, truly want. And this is about working that out. Because again, we're getting these bursts of, clarity but we don't know what to make of it so this is how we process it and this is how just it's an example of how you know okay she's taking her idea that she might have had over many moons you know and she's now taking it deeper and taking it higher and working it out as she's even painting it she's like figuring out exactly okay maybe in my dream you know was it like this oh no I remember it was like this it's kind of that type of energy it's like we've been here before we know what we're meant to do on a deeper and higher level because we're all we choose you know we choose our parents we choose what we're working with we choose what our purpose is you know going to be we, we sign up for this life so it's like we know it we just have to work it out and remember and be like okay yes this is it and we only do that through within it's not a mind it's not solely a mind thing it's more about following your bliss and then aligning your mind to work with your intuition your instincts Okay. So again, it's working it out and, and it's about what you're putting out there. Cause even as she's painting, she's taken an idea. She's taken the belief that, okay, I can paint or I'm going to paint this beautiful thing and it's going to be awesome. And I really want to do it. So she's getting the resources and doing it, following through with that belief. And now she's, once it leaves her fingertips, it's outward energy. And then whatever comes back after that, but it all starts with what you put out right now. And the focus is on the output. The, po the focus is on clarifying this idea of, again, your, your true mission, your true purpose, what's going to bring you peace. You know, what do you, like, what, if you were to retire, let's say you were going to retire, what would you do with the rest of your life? What would you make you happy? Okay. King of Stones. Look at this guy. I freaking love this. And then the dog. Oh my gosh, oh minstrel, oh the little puppy, okay, king of stones, okay, so this is loyal, loyal energy, this is fun, this is getting through the night, this is your man, sturdy, I'm really seeing as this is a sign, you're, and I, we had this, this is funny, because I think it was king, it might have been a pentacles, I can't remember, where he had the heart on his sleeve, and this guy's reminding me of the same. He's very theatrical. He's very flamboyant. He's going to tell you. And of course, this is not like a lot of the twin flames that we have. Okay. But it's like, this is saying that the energy there that is that flamboyant. I love you. I love you. You know, you're my only, like all of these ballads, like that sort of thing is like being transmuted through the dog here. The dog is the loyal one that doesn't say much, but he's always there. You know what I mean? And it's like equating these two together. So 
everybody has their own you know ways and obviously singing is not going to be everyone's but that doesn't mean that you can't appreciate the music and appreciate it together and you know be able to work some of these things out so it's like stay loyal yourself too you know and as much as we want our people to be loyal to us make sure that we are being loyal to other people and loyal to ourselves as well because that's really a huge thing and it's also kind of an extra warning here because they're kind of focused too as well on the same area you know getting this piece getting this this thing you know this these ideas uh this lifestyle whatever worked out you know and moving forward and, and again this figuring out energy like what am i gonna do how am i gonna give back how am i gonna you know maybe in the future have a great free lifestyle where i get to be my own boss and you know help people that sort of thing is like here for you it's coming for you and this is part of the twin flame journey that people don't understand because a lot of times you know they're just doing the whole oh going through the motions going through the motions because really it's we're made to be kept away from the truth you know we're made to be distracted made to be distraught made to think we're not good enough and that's what really a lot of our problems are if we dig deep enough it's these thoughts these are thoughts beliefs and expectations she's sick of them she's throwing them around because they're not serving her you know they're blowing around she's just like why you know and it's because we subscribe to these beliefs and expectations when we don't have to and we're not going to anymore because this is like final straw we're done with it you know we're moving forward into a time you know into a place that's higher higher deeper and higher you know spiritual energy knowledge allowing your spirit guides to guide you because both of these are the exact, you know, we have the same color. This is very regal energy, very royal, very um, elevation, you know, going higher again, higher minded. That's why it's like royalty. It's like appointed by God kind of idea, you know, and she's just like so focused, not on, you know, anything. You know, there's a lot going on, but it's like when you are focused on positivity and you just kind of spread that out through the world like you don't realize how much you are helping the world to eliminate you know this is going backwards we have the nine of scrolls and then we have the eight of scrolls because these are we're eliminating negative things we're eliminating negative thoughts we're eliminating negative mindsets negative beliefs negative thoughts beliefs and expectations okay we're going higher beyond that it's like counting backwards to zero and then the magic's going to start. You know what I mean? Once we've really seen the truth of who we are. Once we can really keep that with us and act on the truth of who we really are. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. And this is what we're coming into. So stay hopeful. You know, it may seem like a really long journey here, but again, we're supported we're absolutely everything is happening for a reason seasons of change you know we're we, we just have to keep going with flow and not only keep on passing along the messages that we are receiving but also keep staying open to receiving the new you know and that's why don't let pride get in your way don't let any pride block you from you know coming in direct you know contact communion um communication with the higher powers okay when we're in this you're not in an open receptive mindset even though we're an angel she's still got the angel wings even though she's like forgotten that she's super powerful awesome crazy wonderful super power being you know she forgot and she's all like oh no i heard this bad news or like thinking even a lot of times it's not even news it's just like things that we keep on thinking that it's like why do we think that no we don't have any reason to think that or maybe if we do have a reason to think that it's just still not true we don't need to continue worrying you know it doesn't do anything for us okay so this is about going beyond all of that going beyond the worry going beyond the fear going within finding that true inner light and letting it shine okay not only feeling it and staying open into this again she's in that receiving mode okay this one's crying downward mode uh, the focus is down everything's sad down you know but it's still changing it's still teaching her a lesson in the end but the lesson is to come into here 
you know, where again, it's upwards, it's receiving, it's I accept, I receive, I love, I, you know, I'm willing. It's that open energy, teach me, use me uh, for the highest good, you know, these types of these types of things. Let me be of service, you know, let me heal, give me wisdom, all the things, you know, that are that are deeper and higher, more, you know, more important. Okay. So I'm really hoping this was good for you. I just feel like, you know, as with some of these other readings lately, it's all about going within right now. It's still kind of setting up to this new beginning. And we really want to make sure that we're focused, that we're steady, sturdy, and uh, kind of on an even keel with our everyday life. It's almost like we've had so much going on. We really kind of crave a little bit of stability right now. And it may just be part of that stability and part of the energies that we have. It's been, again, so fiery, so Scorpio, so intense that we just want to kind of go and hibernate and work on ourselves. And that is perfectly okay because that is where you will get all of this inspiration to, again, focus on what you want, hone in on what you want on an even deeper level and be able to sing that song to the universe and let them know, you know, let the universe know what you want and know exactly how you want it. And it's about what you're, it's about what you're passionate about too. It's not just about following through the motions, trying to get paid. It's about doing, it's about pulling it together with the healing. Okay. And, and it has to do with the law of attraction too and what, and manifesting. So I feel like you may be able to work that through towards maybe some kind of a mission in the future is helping people with the law of attraction or even just being an inspiration when it comes to the holistic law of attraction. Again, if you want to learn more about the holistic law of attraction, check out my program, the Aloha Switch program. It's at clarryberry.com. Okay. So again, to wrap it up, just going deep, deep, deep within, going into eliminate one by one some of these old thoughts beliefs expectations the way we do that is with shadow work okay so it's very important to get that program it's got the shadow work it's got this um the uh abundant holistic healing and it's got the inner child healing as well okay um excuse me what i was trying to say is it starts out with the holistic law of attraction i always want to say healing the healing's at the end holistic law of attraction shadow work and then it goes to the inner child healing. It's a very deep, a very deep, very high. I want to say like, it's an angelic experience. It like, it's very, it's enlightening to you to get to the bottom of some of these, again, thoughts, beliefs, and expectations that you don't need. They're not freaking serving you. And getting beyond those is like, you have no idea how freeing it is. You have no idea how wonderful it is. Even when, and I always say this, things come up you know what did we do here we went from a nine to an eight of scrolls you're taking away you're getting in there and doing one session you know of the easiest shadow work and you're making you're feeling amazing you know you're making progress you're getting to a much higher level it's amazing um shadow work literally is amazing it's instantaneous i talk about it in probably more than any other video so hopefully it's not like a complete broken broken record but i just want people to be able to hear this because i know it's super freaking helpful i've been through a lot in my life like i could write books um, but this is what i want to talk about because it doesn't matter this experience that experience when it comes to the deeper healing that can affect us all Okay, so hopefully you're helping me in uh, sharing the word. You can share my videos. You can go make videos, you know, about the things that you learn, um, especially with the, the holistic healing and all of that. I have no problems with that. Again, check out the Facebook group. Links down below. Um, links for everything. Clarryberry.com. Take care. I will talk to you guys soon. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here again. Thank you for every like, every subscribe, comment, etc. I'll talk to you later.